Family Feud introducing the Bossers family. Bob, Lois, Becky, Marianne, and Gary, ready for action. And the Cram family. Michael, Kathy, Candace, Joan, and Charles. On your marks, let's start the Family Feud. With the star of Family Feud, Richard Dalton. Champs are right here, the bosser. Oh, how are you doing? Fine, thank Good you. Good, you. Good luck. Oh, oh, boy, you got out there and you won the last time. I was very proud. How much have you won? We're very fortunate. You won and you played well. How much money have you got, huh? $6,169. Well, you are fortunate. Oh, yeah. And you meet everybody here. This is my lovely wife, Lois. Of 41 years? Of 41 years. <laughs> yeah, you gotta say, you always say the same thing. <laughs> this is my middle daughter. Middle daughter, Becky. Becky. Right. Hello. And my Hello. youngest daughter, Mary Ann. Who's almost uh, as big as Becky. <laughs> and her husband, the Gary. Couch, the couch man, we call The couch man. Him. Yeah, Gary the couch man. <laughs> Thank you. But I've got to congratulate uh, Gary and Becky and the fast money. You got up there, took my advice, you got up and you won the money and you were great. Thank you for Thank the you, advice. Richard. Well, no, but I do that. I do some, both the ladies are fine, but they think very, very uh, similar, you know, and you need somebody to get up there and just to be a little bit different in attitude and that'll often win the money for you. Sometimes you're gone so quickly, you don't get a chance to get up there. But. It'll, it's all coming out in my book, How I Done It. <laughs> uh, will you help me welcome, please, the Cram family? Yeah. Oh, good looking suit there, Michael. Thank you. Yeah. Hard yeah. to keep up with you, though. Yeah, very dapper, very dapper. Uh, let me meet everybody, please. All right. This is my lovely wife, Kathy. Hi, my doll. Hi, Richard. How are you doing? Next to her is my uh, sister, Candace. Woo hoo. Hi, Richard. Hi, sweetie. Pretty good. Next to her is my mom, Joan. Hey, and Mom. on the end there is my dad, Charles. Charlie, how you doing? We have a little gift that we'd like to That's present to you. Yeah. We know how you like cigars, yeah, so sure. we got a green one for you. <laughs> All right. Did you grow this? Yes, we did from did our you, garden. Did you really? Now, is this a squash? Yeah. Now, in England, we call them marrows. You don't have marrows, do you? No. So I think it's the same. Same thing. Yeah, same thing. Uh, I stuff them. Bake them. Yeah, right. you right? Like that? Yeah. I'll when are we coming I'll, over? I'll invite you both over. <laughs> All right. All right. You come Monday, you'll be... You come <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? I work for the railroad. I drive trains. Do you really? Here in town? Mm-hmm. Kind of neat. Where do you go? Um, from Los Angeles to San Bernardino, and sometimes out to Yuma, Arizona, depending uh, if they don't like us, they'll send us farther. Are you a <laughs> driver? Mm-hmm. Engineer. Uh, engineer, I'm sorry. Driver. <laughs> well, I forgot the technical term, engineer. Yeah. Uh, what about the bullet bullet train? You ever seen one of those? I mean, in Japan no, they have. No, just one. in uh, on TV I've yeah. seen them. They're, they're going to put one in, I guess. They're going to talk about us yeah. having one. They're marvelous. You know. They go about 120 miles. Yeah. An hour. How fast do your trains go? Just uh, our freight trains, which are our slower trains, go somewhere about 45 to 60 miles an hour, oh. and then our uh, passenger trains, Amtrak, go uh, much faster than that. Like 60, what? 65. 60? Really? Anyway, just, uh... <laughs> <laughs> you throw me a ball there. Whack! It's kind of fun. I thank you kindly. We're delighted you. you're here. Come We're delighted to Let's play the few. Come on. <laughs> Here come the judge, here come the judge. <laughs> Silence in court now. 100 people surveyed, top six answers on the board. You gotta try and find the most popular answer. Here's the question. Name a treat some people give up for Lent. Yeah. Uh, smoking. Smoking. Five answers a day, Michael. Losing weight. A treat some people give up for Lent. They lose weight. They lose weight. 
No. Oh. Play or uh, pass? We will pass, sir. We're gonna pass, yeah. very well. All right, let's go. Uh, yeah, let's go, let's go. Let's see this little cutie pie. How are you? Just fine, you how are you? a great smile. Thank you. What's a treat that some people give up for Lent? Candy. All right, that's All right. Great one. Candy! Candy. Hello. Hi, Rachel. Uh, this is candy right here. Yes. I wouldn't give you up for Lent. Oh. I wouldn't loan you to anybody either. The treat some people give up for Lent. Um, how about cakes? Oh, here's another good one. Cake ride! Yeah. I'll tell you why I'm smiling a little later, Mama. How are you doing, my How sweetie? How are you it's doing, good to, see you. good to see you, too. Uh, Lent, what do some people give up? Some sort of treat? I would say, um, some would give up sex. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Buddha looks better to me all the time. <laughs> sex! What a load that is off our mind. <laughs> Candy, yes. How are you, Richard, how are you Nice to see you. Well, I'll give you a treat that some people give up for Lent. I'm going to have to go along with uh, movies. Movies? Movies. All right. Movies! Yeah. No. Oh. Okay, Michael, come on. You can do it. What do you say, Michael? I think... Uh, Smoking would be a good one to give up for Lent well, this time. We had smoke. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. Drinking. Well, booze? Yeah. Oh, what a time. Yeah. Is there okay if not thirst strike? Booze! Yeah. That's the way to get it. Well, my love? Meat. Ooh. Ooh, oh, yeah. Yeah. That's a great one. I like that. That's a good one. That's there okay. Meat. Very good, Captain. Candace? Okay. How about cookies? Cookie? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's cookies. Cookies, yeah. Oh, okay. Cookies there, you get all the money. If not, third strike. Cookie! Oh. No? $92. Well, Dr. Mob wants the treat that some people give up for Lent. Ice cream. Ice cream. These are sort of things I would think would be creature comforts where you'd sacrifice something. It seems a bit of a mockery to give up cookies and candy. <laughs> but Dr. Bob, if ice cream's there, you get the $92, and if not, you get it, Michael. Ice cream! <laughs> they got it! We'll be back right after this. Daytime is playtime with our most popular shows. Every day you must watch. Weekdays starting at noon Eastern, only on Buzzer. Well, the people who gave up ice cream for Lent have $92. Uh, people who decided to uh, smoke and drink have nothing. Come, sweetie pie. <laughs> How are you today? 100 people surveyed. Top five answers on the board. Here's the question. Name a place to which people bring a blanket. Yes. Camping. Camping. Three answers will be. The beach. The beach. Yeah. Let her pass. Talk it over. Yes, it passed. They've decided not to play anything this game. Very good. <laughs> Congratulations on number one. I'm very proud of you. Thank you. Hey, good job, Josh. Good job. Good job. Did you notice the moment they won the five grand? They don't want to work anymore. <laughs> They've retired from this game. Pass everything. They're over there. They're going to have a little sleep. 
planning to give up more things like ice cream, M&M's, <laughs> peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. A uh, place that people bring bikes. I know, I'd bring one to the park. Yeah. Oh, that's park! <laughs> well done. Mama. Yes. Why would you bring a blanket, Mom? I would take it to a sporting event. Oh, oh yeah! Oh, it's it's a great a sporting event? Papa, he looks astounded, like, uh, <laughs> this is the same when I asked all of them. <laughs> we have ways of making you talk, Charlie. Yeah, I know you do, Richard. <laughs> Not with that squash, either. <laughs> uh, Where would people bring a blanket, Charles? To bed. Okay. Oh, good one! Yeah. It was there, you got it. Bed? <laughs> no, oh. but it was a good answer. Oh, Michael. Come on, Mike. I'd say uh, on a picnic. Take a look up there. A <laughs> <laughs> uh, place to where people uh, bring a blanket. To a concert. Oh, okay. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There you got it. If not, second strike, a concert? <laughs> no. Oh, Come on, God. pretty Kathy. You, you can, can do, do it. it. Come on. What is it? To the drive-in movies? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Rest there, darling. You have it all. If not, get ready to steal a drive-in movie. To pass or not to pass? That is the question. We will return. Plays 92. Pretty Becky. Let's go. How are you doing today? <laughs> See, I just figured it out. Uh, Lois and Bob are not playing any of these questions just to keep me away from the two uh, girls. <laughs> it's very cruel. Very cruel. 100 people surveyed. Top six answers on the board. Here's the question. Name a kind of place where people might forget their coats. School. School. <laughs> Restaurant. Restaurant. <laughs> We're gonna play. Okay, they're gonna play. Okay, come on, let's go. Right. Well done, my darling Candy. Very let's good. Where is the place? Let me just oh, it's just the same. What a stone is this? I really don't know. It's lovely, but thank you. The okay. kind of place where people might forget their coats. Uh, when they've been at work. At work, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Work. Yeah. 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 Well done. Well done. 
Charles. Oh, I'd have to say the theater or a movie. Uh, you mustn't movie give me theater. two lots of answers. Now, you just tell me an answer. Just one. Yeah. Could I, you know, because often those will be two different answers. And I don't, just give me one answer. All right, uh, the movies. Okay, sir. Movies! <laughs> no? Oh, Michael, where might people forget their coats? I think I'd forget a coat at uh, a ball game. You love that answer. Don't That's you? right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> he, often, he often gives me that answer. Ball game! Yeah. Yeah. Find a place where people might forget their coat. At a party? Let's oh, look. Yeah. Hey, party! Uh, no, oh. second strike. No, don't worry. Pretty <laughs> can. Uh, how about on a bus? Yeah, all right, all my right. love. That's there, okay. If not, third strike. A bus! No, $71. It's Lent. I need an answer. Give me an answer. Where might people forget their coat? At church. Church. I say you get the $71, and if not, Michael does. Church! Okay. Number two. Bye. Five, theater. Yeah. 163, 98, let's go. How you doing? I haven't seen you today. <laughs> Dollar values are doubled. 100 people surveyed. Top four answers on the board. Here's the question. Name something people buy because of the high crime rate. Uh, yes. A security system. What we call SS a security system. <laughs> Two answers of Peter Jones. A gun. A gun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We want to play, Richard. Okay. Joan, I'm very proud of you. You may not know what this is, but you know what a high crime rate is. Something people buy because of high crime rate, Charles. Uh, what a watchdog. Yeah. <laughs> a crazed watchdog. You got it. Yeah. Michael. Come on, man. I'd say, uh, a fence or a gate, yeah, a big fence. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to use two words, but you can't I use love two this. words. You can use two words. You mustn't give me two different answers. That's all, all right. you know. A big fence is a great. Keep the world out, right? If it's there, you got it all. Fence! <laughs> no? Oh, oh, Kathy, on, she's the strength right here. Yeah, something people buy because of the high crime rate. Window bars? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey. Hey. It was there, you got it down. Bars for the window. <laughs> oh no. That was a good one. Come on, what do you think? Okay. How about a security guard? A guard? <laughs> <laughs> got plenty of money, gotta take care of that. <laughs> Buy a person. <laughs> They're mar they've been marked down, you know. You can get them very reasonably. <laughs> uh, no, so you buy a patrolling guard right. person? Right, uh-huh. Okay. By the services of the person. Oh, most certainly. <laughs> <laughs> all right, my angel. If it's, if it's there, all right, you got it all. If not, third strike. Uh, by the services of a guard. <laughs> no. Oh. I'm 44. Lock, 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 lock. I think lock. people buy because of high crime rate. Extra locks. Oh. No bagels, just the locks. Just the locks. Locks it there, you keep your title. If not, you get the 144 and we go again. Locks! <laughs> Howard? Let's bring them back sometime. Not right away, but we'll bring them back. <laughs> All right? Yeah, sure. Yeah. 
But, you know, there's really no reason I should bring you back, Charlie, because you gave me two different answers. <laughs> Theaters and movies. Right. But I see that this young lady is with child, and my heart goes out. Not you or this guy, because yeah, you're both a couple of zingers. The, lady, <laughs> the ladies impress me. Although you've got $98 there, we'll bring you back and give you another shot at it. All right? Oh, thank hey, you very thank much. You very thank much. you very much. Oh, I may want to ride a train one day. <laughs> thank you. That way I get to see you again. Bye-bye. And you. Yes. You're a real sweet. I'm practicing one answer to the car. Thank you. Thank you. Full play. The winning duo. <laughs> Gary and Mick going for the money right after we watch this. Yeah, you heard it. Play Truth for the real Leonard Wolf. Please stand up. And Consequences. <laughs> to tell the truth and the newlywed game. Weeknights starting at 8. Fifteen seconds. Name something you have fixed when it wears out rather than throw it away. TV. Something escape artists escape from. Box. Something made with milk. Ice cream. Something women do before a date. Makeup. An instrument in a Latin band. Mar mariachi. Very good. <laughs> something you have fixed when it wears out rather than throw it away. A TV. There is it. 21. Something to escape out of escape from. Box. Survey said. Two. Something made with milk. Ice cream. Survey. 27. <laughs> what do women do before a date? Makeup. Survey said. 34. <laughs> An instrument in the Latin band. What did you say? Mariachi. Oh, you know, I went out with her twice. Not a bad dancer. Survey said. Oh. Okay, don't worry, you go back there. We got a little Becky coming up here, and here's Becky. You're gonna do it, aren't you? Right. All right. Absolutely. Uh, Becky just showed me she's gonna win. Please remind everyone the answers Gary gave us. 20 seconds on the clock, please. Name something you have fixed when it wears out rather than throw it away. A watch. Something escape artists escape from. A box. Try again. A jail cell. Something made with milk. Ice cream. Try again. Custard. Something women do before a date. Fix their hair. An instrument in a Latin band. Marimba. Okay. okay. What do you have fixed when it wears out rather than throw it away? You said a what? Survey said? Four. Oh. A car. Number one answer. Car. 
Doesn't think escape hard is escape room. Handcuffs was the number one. You said a jail cell. Survey said 10. Something made with milk? Cheese, number one answer. Oh. You said custard. Survey said well, it is. It's made with milk. Something women do before a date. Makeup was number one. You said do their hair. Survey said 24. <laughs> An instrument in a Latin band. Bongos. Those things that Desi Arnaz used to play. That was number one answer. You said marimba. I also went out with her. Survey said six. 131, five dollars every point total of 665. And we will return. We'll see you here on the feud. Bye bye. Right. <laughs> Some departing with Jets is Richie Black and Decker's cordless dust buster. The light, powerful vacuum for small, fast cleanups makes short work of little messes. Black and Decker's dust buster. Maybelline cosmetics featuring moisture whip. The makeup rich with moisturizers and sunscreen to help prevent wrinkles from coming along too soon in a glorious range of shades. Moisture whip makeup by Maybelline. Here's the gift that fits the man, Stetson Cologne. A cologne that's comfortable and easy to wear, Stetson fits. Pilot's precise ball liner, the Never Squash Extra Fine Rolling Ball Pen with a stainless steel needle-like collar. It revolutionizes pen writing. This is Gene Wood speaking for Family Feud. A Mike Goodson television production. It's time for the Family Feud.